guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix your or replace your water pump pressure switch. Uh, quick troubleshoot, uh, I like to do videos quick, I'm not going to have a 30 minute video to show you a uh, 20 minute job, so we're going to do this quick. Uh, basically first you're going to want to troubleshoot. If your uh, well pump seems to be leaking from this box, um, you're probably going to want to change the switch, that's 95% what it's going to be. As you can see, mine's been actually leaking for a couple of weeks, but it hasn't been too bad, and I haven't, I've been uh, way too busy to fix it. Um, so we're going to do that quickly today. First, you're going to want to make sure your main water line shut off. Mine's right here. So we're going to just shut this all the way. You don't want any more value, water coming into the house. You're also going to want to make sure your dishwasher is not running, obviously, or that no one needs water for about the next 30 minutes or so. So that's shut off. Now, I'm going to want to shut off the well pump. I forget which one that is. That is, or the water pump. Let's see here. Water pump. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. We're going to shut off well pump. So no more water's coming into the house. Let me just make sure that... Yep. So, step one, shut off your water in coming into the house and turn off your well pump. Alright guys, once you've got the water shut off and the uh, well pump shut off so it's not going to pull any more water in, we want to pull all of the water out that is in the line coming into the house just so that when we take this thing off it doesn't all fly in uh, and flood my basement. So I just hooked a hose to this and I ran it outside and now I am going to turn it on. Go check on this. We're going to drain this thing. Sorry, my hose is kinked somewhere. And we're just going to let this thing drain. I'm going to drain it up. I guess that's as far as it's going to go. So we're going to let that drain. Alright, so the water is done. It's all drained out. I'm going to go back inside. And I own a screen printing shop. That's what all this crap is. I'm going to... Shut this valve off, so close this again. We're going to take off the hose now. Next part is pretty easy. See these four screws? We are just going to take all these out one by one and make sure you keep track of which wires go where. So you're not going to want to mess that up. Okay, now that I've got all the wires off, and just for the convenience of you guys, I, I uh, numbered the wires one, two, three, four, one, and three, and then two, and four. Uh, now, we're going to take a pipe wrench, and we are just going to pull this whole apparatus off. Ah. i got to put the camera down, because I need two hands. Okay, I got it loose. Got all that sediment. Oops. Let some of the pressure out. It's got a few pounds of pressure in there. I don't know. This is my first time doing this, so I could have just made a huge mistake, but we'll see. Okay, not to worry. Just a little bit of water is coming out. So here's the old one. Look at how, look how dirty that is. All that sediment. Because I'm way out in the country of Virginia, and my water is full of sediment. I got a whole bunch of filters, but so. This thing's probably like 15 years old or so. Um, there's an old one. New one. Looks way better. Okay, I cleaned off the fitting, made sure it was dry. And I uh, put some plumber's tape on there, so we're going to get a nice good seal. Now, uh, where's my new switch? I'm going to take my new switch right here. Literally just going to put it on here and screw it down. 
Okay, there's new fittings on. Now all we got to do is attach these wires. There's three now. There's three wires coming in. Shows that there's a ground wire. This ground wire is going to connect to these green bolts right here. So you got a black wire, a white wire, and a ground wire. I don't know if that's consistent with all houses, but that's how mine is. So uh, let's put this back together. Okay, we've got this all put back together. Took about a couple minutes. We've got the grounds going to these green right here. Black, white, and then black, white. So that's it. Um, when you tr put this thing on, make sure you put it on tight because you could get a little bit of leakage. But I am going to uh, restart my pump system, fill my house with water, and uh, see if this bugger leaks. So I uh, turn my water on, and I'm going to see where this thing cuts off. Should cut off around 60. No leaking. It's a pretty good sign. Because I uh, usually mess up on a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to wait to see if this thing gets to 60. And see where it shuts off. And it shut down right about 60. And we're good to go. Uh, you'll probably want to bleed your water lines. Pretty simple. Go to the highest point in your house and turn on all the faucets. And uh, wait for all the air to go out. And then just slowly turn on every single faucet going down in your house. And if there's any air, you'll purge all the air out and you'll uh, be good to go. Simple. Thanks, guys.